Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well, Vinayak here. You guys can probably notice that I've gained some body fat in this quarantine period and that should go away. So I think I will begin my cut soon or I should, I think I should start like training more in the gym. But you know, that's a different topic. <laughs> this video will talk about flight gear. It'll be a continuation of my MATLAB to flight gear series, which I had made before a couple of years back. I had made part one and part two before. This part we'll talk about some more advanced topics and how you can increase the level of detail in your simulation. So let's start. This video will not cover how to connect MATLAB to flight gear because those were done in parts one and two. This video will just jump to the advanced topics. I'll be talking about how you can simulate moving control surfaces in flight gear. For example, flaps, spoilers, ailerons and so on. A little bit of an update for 2020. Things may have changed since I've made my first two videos. If you want to download airplanes, I recommend you use the link in the description below. I would say that the older versions of the airplanes are more superior to the new ones. The aircraft which I personally use are the MQ-9 Reaper, the General Atomics drone. It's an amazing machine. It's been used in Afghanistan, Iraq. It's kept America safe essentially, so it's a very powerful drone. I also use the F-15. Now that's like an iconic airplane, right? It's one of the best airplanes America has built. I also use the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The F-16 is a very popular plane and the F-35. So like it's one of the best planes, especially for flight gear because you actually have a cockpit within the airplane itself and you can view quite high fidelity simulations. So before we move on, make sure you know the following topics from parts one and two, how the Simulink toolbox works, setting up a Simulink model to work with flight gear, the bat file run ft.bat how to correctly run simulink with flight gear i talk about this in detail in parts one and two and also where to install scenery and new airplanes now i'll be using individual flight gear tools now these are provided within simulink aerospace block set we'll not be using the pre-configured 6 dof animation block because that's what's used before these tools allow you to put a lot more detail into your simulation so if English is not your first language, you may not know what the word fidelity means. That just means detail. So if something is very high fidelity, it just means that the amount of detail is high. So anyway, in the aerospace toolbox, in my last few videos, I'd used this block here, which you can see. The problem with that is you only have a limited number of outputs. So you only have six outputs, latitude, longitude, height, and then the yaw pitch and roll orientations. Now we have to use this one here. It's called the pack net underscore FDM block. This lets you put in a lot more inputs in your simulation, which you can see there on the left side. So for example, control surfaces, engine fuel landing gear, and so on. We'll be focusing on these inputs here. So if you have a simulation which you built yourself, and if you want to pass on some parameters to the aircraft within flight gear, you can do all this so instead of six we have a lot more than that we have about 11 more inputs that you can put which are you know elevator trim tab the ailerons the spoiler and so on you can also put landing gear inputs there for example the number of wheels your airplane has the landing gear position and the landing gear steering angle make sure you know the data type so for example of what a double is so a double is double precision a single is single point precision or, or a float. If you know C++, you call it that. You also have an, a uint 32 that stands for unsigned integer. And then you have uint 8. So one's 8 bit and one is 32 bit. We will still be using the run fc.bat to start up flight gear. Go into MATLAB and type in this command. We will be opening the NASA built-in example and we'll be extracting the flight dynamics block from there. This will enable us to save time and we can use it for our own project. So open up the sandbox here. You can see how it's been configured very well. This was done by MATLAB themselves, MathWorks, the company that made MATLAB and they already have everything set up here. So you can investigate this yourself. You can see how it's, everything has been configured. So here I'm doing just one run. Run this model once and then close it. Go into the variant block. So
So double click that and you see at the bottom left you see unmask, press unmask and then press OK. So now you can actually go inside that block, right? So when you do that, go into the first block here. And now you can see that we have this FDM block. So this is what it's been given to us. And we'll be just copying this and pasting it into a new model where we can build our own design. You can see how the NASA built-in example is very detailed. It has all the control surfaces, deflections, engine speeds, velocities, accelerations, and all that. You can see how it's very well laid out. They pretty much use every single input that can be used in flight gear. Now in the model itself, not every single output will be visible. It just depends on how accurately the model has been built. But, he, but nevertheless, they do a very good job. We'll be copying this and pasting it into a new model. So here I'm just done that here. And that's it. So from this point onwards, we can disable the things we don't need. So for example, engine inputs, environment inputs, we can disable that and then we can build our own simulation from here. Now here is my simulation which I have made and this file is linked in the description below so you can download this yourself to see what it looks like. I have a simple model here, it's just an airplane moving and the control surfaces are being moved. This simulation is just testing everything. I'm just testing to make sure that flight gear works properly with this block and my new configuration. And this file is exactly what I have in the description below. So you can download this yourself and use it. I hope it works. Um, this one works very well. I have the control surfaces moving as a function of time. It's moving up and down. And when that's done, I have my landing gear retracted. It's not extended, so the wheels are up. And when you run this, it'll look like so. So this year is the simulation. You can see it works extremely well. The control surfaces, the flaps, the rudder and the elevator are moving as a function of time as what we defined. So the model works well and I have the MQ-9 Reaper drone set up here. So you can see how it looks like and that's it. Thank you for watching.